Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's review is going to be on the Outdoor Girls on Cape Cod. Now this series has got... Oh, fairies. I uh, know, and I just opened the book to the chapter titled Fairies. But, uh, this is more of an adventure slash travel slash mystery series. I Obviously, based on the title, the theme is the outdoors, and so the girls are spending their summers outdoors. I mean, if there's a few times, a few books from what I've gathered, that where they do spend it during outdoors, finding adventures in the outdoors on school days, or you know, like on the weekends during the school year. So, it's an interesting. I mean, at least. A, the, the one that I've read so far. The characters are pretty interesting. Uh, the girls like to go out and camp and have fun like that. So if you, you know, looking for a summer read that's with girls camping, this might be the series for you. The mystery seems like a typical mis- it, you know, comes off as like a typical mystery. You know, girl with an inheritance, stuff like that. And, but it's also accented with the scenery of Cape Cod. And so, you know, you've got the beaches and camping and just, you know, all, like I said, it's basically aimed more to be a travel book with a mystery and an adventure on the side and a little hint of romance, at least in this book. There's a little hint of romance in this one for sure. As far as from what I've gathered from the synopsis and the summaries of previous books, is this one is... what's the number? Oh gosh, it doesn't even say it on the book. Go figure. Oh, here you go. One, two, three, four. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this is the 14th book in the Outdoor World series. So, and it does fall in a chronological order. This series actually ages out some of the original characters. I think this is one of the books where they start to age out one of the other, one of the older characters. And I think, and that's where the hint of romance kind of comes in because she's interested in a boy and in later books do involve because there's a few other books after this one do involve some new characters that are incorporated into this outdoor girls club with like within this book and a couple of others so this is one of those that's that's more about a club rather than uh, a person like you'd say like you know or a group of people uh, like some clubs typically do like oh gosh what's the there's a riddle club series that I want to say there is there's also uh, five what was it any Blyton I want to say is the name of the author but she wrote a few series where the, she's got a couple of cl kids clubs to go around. Oh, of course, Trixie Belden and the Bob Whites. That was a club book. And whereas in those mysteries, it centers around the club, specifically in the people in that that club. The club, of course, and it's all the same people. Whereas the Outdoor Girls does show the passage of time and has you know girls leaving and coming in. I think the, I have not read the Babysitter Club series, but I want to say that it's kind of the same. Though from what I've gathered from what I've heard of them, they, they, they still stick like with the same characters. So I don't think it works quite as well. But the Outdoor Girls Club series does age out its characters. And it's few people have thought that's one of the reasons why, like with Judy Bolton, why Nancy Drew was more popular than Judy, even though the two are kind of the same, is that Judy grew up and got married and had a couple of mysteries to solve after she got married. 
Whereas Nancy is still the same age. The same thing with the Hardy Boys. Well, Nancy hasn't technically stayed the same age. She's actually changed ages a few times, but it's been about the same age. 16, 18, 20-ish area. Because they've got a few stories of her going to college. Um, same thing with the Hardy Boys. They kind of stick with that area, that age range. So, you know, the young adult. But, you know, that's... Some people do want to see their characters, their childhood characters that they once knew growing up. Others, in order for them to be timeless, I think has to have the Peter Pan syndrome where they do stay young. And if you're looking for a series where the characters do in fact age out, you know, because it makes you feel like you're not alone, <laughs> and growing up, then yeah, the Outdoor Girl series will probably be good ones for you because it does show, like I said, the passage of time. And, and you know, this book starts the beginning a process, I guess, of one character who ages out of the group. So, you know, overall, it was, you know, an easy, nice little summer read on the shores of Cape Cod. You know, just a little traveling book, you know, just to see what that type was like, kind of a thing. Have a little adventure, mystery, and of course it's around a lighthouse. It's like Cape Cod. The mystery's gotta be about light with a lighthouse, you know. So yeah, it's a pretty good read. Like I said, an, a nice summer story. Uh, but I would also think it's not exactly for everyone either, especially if you're not into the style of the, the 1920s. This was, let's see, does it actually say when it's, this was actually published, um, well, I mean, I know it's in the 1920s, this takes place in the 1920s. But, I mean, just, there, cause there's some pictures in this book, and you can, you tell, that's, that's 1920s swimwear fashion, okay? So, yeah, that's, that's, that's the era in which this was created. It's 1920s, you know, kind of late 20s, early 30s, I would say. Um... Which I would guess would take place during the Great Depression, in which case this was escapist literature. Some people who wanted to escape the harsh, rea you know, harsh realities, that's what escapist literature did for them. We need to kind of get that back, I think, because a lot of stories nowadays and you know movies books and whatnot they don't exactly allow us to escape they want to drag us right back into it I'm saying you gotta have some literature that takes you out of it guys we can't have every you know having a reality and talking about social issues is fine but sometimes you just need a break you can't have handle that 24-7. We weren't meant to. So, but anyways, this is some good escapist literature uh, for its time. Got to see some Cape Cod. I enjoyed it. It was, you know, a nice little, like I said, summer romp. And a little mystery as well. Of course, adventure and a little bit of romance. So... If it's something you're interested in, definitely check it out. If not, there's always something out there that's for you. Thanks for coming by. I hope you enjoyed the review. And if you do check out the book, I do hope you like it. If not, there's always another one. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there, and God bless.